This goes for miles and miles. Hundreds of miles south, hundreds of miles north. You like shallow flooded woods. The crawfish have raised and we're fixing to move in on them. We know they're here, but it's deep. If we had pillar traps and all that, we could catch them. But, you know, we're going to get all we want. Starting in about, as uh, soon as you're driving down through here on four wheeler instead of this boat, when it all gets confined, I see crawfish everywhere I look. They're hanging all over these trees. Yes. There is a crop of them. Big time. Some big ones too. Yeah, they're big. When the current begins to pick up a little bit, the lower it gets, we'll just put our traps along there and he won't even have to. Hold it right there. That's all right, Dan. Look, I'm going to go around that. All right. Somebody said, oh, they flooded out. They couldn't even drive to their house for months. But we said, yep, you think this is pretty bad? They said, yeah, man, you can't even get to your house. You know what my reply was? What about all them crawfish that was gonna come off of this thing? They're like, what? I said, high water, months of high water, millions of crawfish. We're gonna get after these crawfish on this big backwater. I told old Red to get ready. I got a bag of crawfish bait in the back of the wheeler. We got new crawfish pots. Crawfish cleaner? Crawfish cleaner. Somebody figured out how to do that. So beginning in about, oh, I thought it would be within a week, but the river slowed down falling, so it's just sitting here. But as it falls, this is where all the water ends up for miles, right out here in my duck hole. So not only is it a duck hole, it's a crawfish hole like you haven't seen lately. And this runs all the way, all these crawfish, all the way down into the Chafalaya Basin, the Great Swamp. A lot of crawfish, it's a beautiful thing. My mouth is watering. Fried crawfish tails, all you can eat. Boiled crawfish. A little corn in there, them small red potatoes. Three or four heads of garlic. Two or three onions. Kosher salt. But no egg whites. A couple whites. of lemons. No egg whites. No egg whites. You can throw a few boiled eggs over there if you wanted to, Dan, if that's what you want. Man, Dan, this road ain't much of a road, is it? Not anymore. Nope. I'm going to have to stick to that same way I came in a while ago. Yeah. They broke hard right over there. Look the at right. all this debris. One tree after the other. Yeah. Cut off by fallen trees. I could go around it probably. But I don't think it's worth the effort. Watch your eyes. 